And welcome back to Nancy's Neighborhood, folks. I told you I'd be back, and I have two more guests, and, but they're going to talk about the same subject, uh, which is storytelling. And I'm thrilled to have them on here because, you know, Judy was on the last show with me and kind of gave us a preview of what was going to happen, and, and it's happening. It happened today, and I apologize, Adam. <laughs> I was supposed to be at Parkview at 8 o'clock this morning, and folks... I did not make it, and I'm sorry, I'm sorry, but, but there's some other opportunities for people, and, and I want you all to talk about that. But first of all, Adam, welcome to Cleveland. Thank you. It's great to have you here, and you're from Virginia? West Virginia. West Virginia. That's where my father's folks were from, West Virginia. Mingo County, oh, West yeah. Virginia. Mm -hmm. okay. That's not far from where I grew up. Okay. I, I keep being told I need to go back up there, but I haven't gotten there yet, or go up there. But anyway... You are our visiting storyteller. I am. You are important, and we're <laughs> thrilled to have you here. Thank because you. Because you're in our schools, yes. which uh, Cherry's Jubilee, which we'll talk about another time, raises the money for people like you to come in. Mm -hmm. So how was your experience today? It was a great experience today. Good. I was in two schools today. The first school I told stories to the fourth grade. The second school I told to the third grades. Okay. And the students were just very receptive, participated a lot. We did some singing. We celebrated a birthday. Oh, how neat. And had some folk tales and also some personal story. Oh, super. Yeah. Okay. So, well, Judy had told me you're, uh, you're a musician, storyteller musician, However, you and I know that would be to me that would be easy to put together. So, so kind of what instruments do you play? Well, today I was playing the banjo okay. and the piano because there was a piano in oh, there. Oh, how nice! I'm, I'm really a pianist more than anything else, but that's hard to pack up in the car. <laughs> you think? Yeah, I've tried. <laughs> have you really? <laughs> Actually, okay. I have a little one in the I, car right I, now I, that comes good. with me. And the kids probably love that. Oh yeah. Okay, uh, so now Judy and I've talked about this because sometimes. It's really nice if you know what their curriculum is and yeah. you can tell stories that relate because Peter Parker lost his pants, his pants, pants blown, blown off. off. That was two years ago. And then and then Mark Twain was here last year. So, I, so <laughs> see, but they were talked about you know, one about the Revolutionary War and one about Mark Twain and that history. So is that, was there anything curriculum-oriented that you did today, or was this just a fun day? Well, it was a fun day. I did reach out to some of the principals of the schools to ask um, if they had any, uh, like, uh, character values that they're working on this year or goals for the students in the school. And so, um, really, I'm trying to just uh, exhibit stories that have narratives that are about being good, good to each other, and um, e even if people are different than you, trying to understand um, how there are commonalities. Super. So for example, one of the schools tomorrow is working through the seven highly effective habits of successful people or something like that. I didn't put all the words right. Okay. But, um, so we're going we're gonna to be looking at uh, character and success Okay, tomorrow. very good. There's yeah. probably some of us adults that could listen to that <laughs> and benefit from it. Actually, really, really. But then you're also going to be, now you're going to be in one, two, three, four, five schools. Mm -hmm. Did I do that right, Judy? Total, yeah. five, five total schools. But then you're also going to be in concert mm -hmm. Friday night. Friday night. So share that with me a little bit. So I will be given a program of lots of different types of stories on Friday night. And I don't know exactly what I'm going to tell yet. I usually come up with a few different programs. And then when I get to meet the audience as they're coming in and talk to them, I'll say, oh, this is what I should tell. Or if someone says something to me, it's like, oh, that triggers a certain story. And then even as I'm doing the program, I might say, oh, they're re responsive to this, but something else wouldn't work. So I'll change the program as I'm telling it. Nice. But I'll probably do, um, I've been asked to do an Appalachian folk tale. So I'll Good. do that. I'll probably put a little bit of music in there. Um, I am a four-time champion of the West Virginia Liars Contest. I love that. Judy told me that <laughs> the other day, and I think that's wonderful. So I'll probably do some tall tale telling. Good. Uh, I won't tell you exactly when that's happening. You know, you'll have to just figure that out for yourself. <laughs> I love it. I love it. I think that's great. Yeah. So this is Friday night at First Pres. At 7 o'clock. At 7 o'clock. Mm -hmm. Admission is $5. Um, Family cap at 15. Again, if you've got six children, you're going to benefit from this. Okay, so, <laughs> and again, this will be the second time today yeah. you're going to benefit. So, and, and the public is invited and encouraged to come out and, and attend and, and hear Adam and also meet our storytellers because the Storytelling Guild here in Cleveland is very, very active. We are. Uh, maybe one of the uh, longest running, I was going to say oldest, but I don't know want to use that, uh, longest running storytelling guilds in the state. Well, we're one of the oldest guilds in the state, okay. probably. We um, organized in 1991. But, of course, StoryFest, this will be our 23rd year. 
and the national it will turn 40 something six uh, 46 this october we're only half that old but we're still probably one of the longest continuously running storytelling festivals in the area. Fantastic. Mm -hmm. So do you go to Jonesboro to the National? I do. I'm, okay. Mm -hmm. I've told there as a, as a new voice and uh, many years ago when I was just getting started. And I've also been an MC at that festival a couple of times. That's why, so see folks, we have a celebrity. We have a celebrity <laughs> and you can meet him Friday night at First Presbyterian at seven o'clock for a mere five dollars. And, and that sports the Cleveland Storytelling Guild. So we can put on more programs yeah. like that because we put mm -hmm. on several programs uh, through the year. Right. And we're open to come to schools. We're open to come to um, private events, churches, mm -hmm. um, Sunday schools, anything like that. If you need a storyteller, um, if you need help uh, working on a story, uh, we'll help you. Uh, some people are wanting to work on genealogy and family history. We can help you. We don't know so much about the genealogy part of it, but if you've got a good story about Aunt Mary's pie plate, <laughs> yes, yes, we will help you craft that. So it would be something you could pass on to your kids. And I think that's great because so many times now, like my grandmother lived to be 102, and you know she lived through the first airplane, the first automobile, the first, you know all of these things. And did I sit down and write anything down? Did I get her to tape anything and tell me any stories? No. And that's a shame. The easiest thing anybody can do, um, we did actually sit down with my husband's father one time, and we put a camera on like mm -hmm. that. And he said, I don't know anything to tell. Yeah. And all you have to do is start with, well, tell about the time that. Mm -hmm. Or what was your childhood like? Mm -hmm. What was school like? What did you do for Christmas? Do you remember the first time you experienced something? Mm -hmm. Yeah. Okay, you give me some ideas. My, my <laughs> uncle is 94. He was in World War II. Uh, he's still very active, and I need to sit down with Uncle Ralph and, and have him tell me some stories. And take your phone. Nowadays, people have phones. Yeah. Turn the thing on. Mm -hmm. Well, yeah. Duh. And, it, you know, video is wonderful, but if nothing else, if they're intimidated by that, set it on the table. Just turn the recorder on and let them talk. Trust me, the painters, none of my family is... A fearful of talking. They, <laughs> they do a really good job at talking. So. And, and for now, you know, you can preserve those stories of Aunt Mary and other people for people, you know, generations right. on in the family so that they can know about them as right. well. Well, because I, I know my uncle was uh, honored at Pope County High School last year and he told, got, they gave him a microphone. <laughs> Should never have called him a microphone. Don't and ever give tales. a storyteller a <laughs> No, I know, I know, I learned that. But, uh, but anyway, he told tales that I wish I'd been recording right then when he was telling them. So I think this is so exciting, Adam. Thank you. So, so you have three more schools tomorrow. Two schools tomorrow and one Friday. Oh, and one Friday. Okay, mm -hmm. gotcha. And then Friday night we're going to be in concert. I yes. love that. I love that in concert. Because anytime you say in concert, people think of musicians. Right. Well, mm -hmm. you are a musician. So, so Adam will be in concert. Seven o'clock Friday night, five dollars or fifteen is the max of top out on that. And um, Appalachian Tales. Yeah. And maybe some lies. Maybe some lies. Well, there will be lies. <laughs> <laughs> I love it. I love it. You can count on it. I'm so glad to have you with us today, Adam, because when Judy and I talked about this, we weren't really sure what your schedule was going to be and whether or not I could get you on TV and we could work this in because it's you've, we have to work the schools in first. That's mm -hmm. the number one priority, is work the schools in. And then I'm way on down the list. So, But I'm so glad to have you today. I'm happy to get to visit the neighborhood. Any last-minute thing you'd like to share with anyone? Oh, um, come and hear some stories. Uh, if, if you're wondering what it is, hear some examples of what it is. Meet some people in the area uh, in case you're interested in telling stories. And um, even if you can't make it out, be sure to share stories and encourage other people to tell stories, especially the young and the old. Absolutely. Absolutely. Adam, thank you so much. And thank Judy, you. thank you for bringing Adam on. Well, thanks for and having us. And hopefully... I won't oversleep Friday night. <laughs> oh, but I overslept Parkview this morning. And I apologize, Parkview. I'm so sorry. But uh, but hopefully Friday night, 7 o'clock, first prayers. Mm -hmm. And that sounds great. And if I, you do come up with a good lie to cover up. <laughs> well, it's, yeah, I didn't have one for this morning. I just overslept. <laughs> Thank you all Thank so you. much. Thank you. Folks, don't go away. Same little spiel now. Watch a commercial, support our sponsors, they pay our bills. And I'll be right back with two more guests that are going to share something else with you, something you may not even know about Cleveland Brandon County. So don't go away. We'll be right back.